Hello friends, welcome to our new video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the merchant. The merchant in our Canterbury Tales by Geoffrey Chaucer. The merchant is a very good character and he has a forked, forked beard. He has a girt, girt on his face, a mark just like this mark on his face. And he had a motley gown, he wore a motley gown. He sat high on a horse and he has a hat on his head and his books were fastened on the horse and spoke and he spoke notions or ideas outright pompously. He spoke his notions pompously and uh, he stressed the time he had won, not lost. So he was talking about the time he spoke about the time he won, not the lost time. He could make a crown at money making, means he was expert in money making. He kept all his wits well set, means he had many ideas, good ideas. No one could say he was in debt, but really he was in debt. But no one could say that uh, he was in debt. He was a worthy man, but his name can't be recalled by our Chaucer. So this is about the merchant. He has he has no uh, such bad uh, bad things. Only some good things is mentioned. But he was pompous. Pompous is not not much good. So he was speaking about the his notions outrightly whatever uh, he feels he spoke outright he spoke his ideas outright next is our character the clerk the clerk is another important character the clerk is our important character he was a clerk from oxford important a uh, uh, he is a clerk from Oxford and he turned to getting knowledge. So from the name itself, the, no, uh, the clerk, we can understand that. So the clerk will be uh, always dealing with the books so that uh, uh, maybe uh, this clerk may be from the library. So uh, this clerk deals with the uh, books. So he was fond of he wanted to uh, grow or he wanted to enrich his knowledge. His horse was meager as a rake and he was not too fat. He was not too fat. He looked, he looked hollow and went soberly and right threadbare means his uh, his dressing right threadbare overcoat and he had 20 some 20 books at his bird's head always kept his books on his pet's head so that he could easily read these books and all bound in black and red it may, it may be the books of aristotle and uh, his philosophy and he wore rich robes and a fiddle or a gay psaltery. He was in fact a philosopher. He read many books. He had a, he had a good uh, abundance of knowledge and he's a philosopher. And uh, he kept his books always with him. Little gold in his coffer means he had no saving at all. He had no saving, saving at all. He, whatever money came to his hands, he spent it to buy new books. And borrow from friend on books and books and uh, learning. So he just uh, uh, borrowed money for books and learning. So he, in short, he spent all, all of his lives to uh, books and enriching knowledge. And study took his utmost care. 
and heed so he was a studious man and he was too careful and he used his money and time for enriching his knowledge and buying books new books he didn't speak even one word more than he needed so we know that the experts or the knowledgeable the learned men speak only only less whatever they wanted only they speak or they spoke so uh, in short he is a knowledgeable man and he knows how to speak and he said with a high sense or a good sense and his speech was with a moral virtue would gladly learn and teach so i like this character the clerk because the clerk is a learned man and he wanted to enrich his knowledge i too want to enrich my knowledge and he by uh, spend his money for buying books and he spoke only a less uh, whatever he wanted to speak only that much he spoke he did not speak uh, uh, anything that he did not want and his speech was with moral virtue and there was moral virtue in his speech so the clerk is a good character next is next character is the franklin the franklin is a, another important character in our uh the canterbury tales here he is very hospitable and well off he is very hospitable and well off so whoever comes to his house he received them he entertained them his beard was white like daisy daisy flower so his beard was white and uh, he had a large amount of food it seems to snow refreshments there so he had a large collection of foods food at home and he keeps a seasonable appropriate appropriate menu means what he has to uh, eat in the breakfast in the during lunch and even dinner so he has a he was fond of food so he had a menu just like restaurants he had a menu at home and his dining table is set all day long so he was fond of food so that in order to uh, in order to uh, eat food he has to clean up uh, his dining uh, dining table and his dining table was very clean and it was set all day long everything whatever he wanted to eat everything would, would be ready there in the di- dining table and he keeps a, a live partridges he he loved partridges and he kept a live partridge there he is a wazer means uh, he is uh, ranking below a baron he is a razor just uh, he is not a baron but just below that so he was a wealthy man so this the franklin we cannot say anything bad about this person he liked this uh, 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 his own food items and his uh, dining table is very uh, uh, ready and his hospital that is a good quality um, uh, he is very hospitable and his beard is white like a daisy flower okay and he has a sanguine temperament okay so uh, i have discussed uh, almost nine characters in this uh, through throughout these uh, videos so i will come next time i will come with uh, some other important characters from the canterbury tales anyway uh, until then let's uh, depart now and uh, we have to uh, study it well in order to gain in order to understand more about uh, these characters and not only for the examination uh, what chaucer has used to describe them so we have to go through this the original text anyway let's uh, uh, please subscribe my channel and so that you get more videos updated updated videos about these literary characters Thank you very much for watching my video. Thank you. Have a nice day.